Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, since the last video, I've actually done quite a bit. Um, probably should have videoed a lot of it, but it didn't really have time, slash, it was would have been in the way, kinda. So, first off to show you, engine's out. So, have the, the engine out. Um, took out, took off the whole front end since the last video as well. Um, I know I had bumper off, had crash bar off, things like that there. Um, took off the panel with the radiator and stuff on it. Um, at the minute, I'm just trying to get the loom out. I think that's sort of the next step. Now, tonight I want to try and at least get the majority of the loom off. want to get the exhaust off as well because it's not going to be needed. Basically going to just keep stripping until more or less have nothing left in the engine bay at the minute. I haven't touched any of the brakes either. I wanted to keep the brakes in, just simply just for whenever I'm going to be moving it about and things. I, it will be going back on the wheels. Uh, need to strip off the back hubs actually, because at the minute the back hubs are still, you know, from the 1.2, they're, they're drums. So going to have to take those drums off. I actually have sourced GTI rear hubs. Um, then I'll probably put upgraded calibers on it as well. So, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is going to try and take off. I'll show you guys now. So, next thing I want to try and get off is probably the wiper motor and stuff. Get all that out of the way. Now, the main reason for that is I've got basically the whole loom um, more or less out. I have the lights and sensors going down into the arches. They're disconnected and just more or less hanging there. Um, for the side markers but to actually be able to pull those parts of the loom up through I need um, to get down in there and there's also part of the loom goes up in here and I can't really get in behind it um, to pull it up without taking off the, the wiper motor and um, also need to pull off this panel here I think it's only just like a bolt here bolt there and pull that up so got the wiper linkage out it was actually really easy only two 10 mil bolts just here and here and um, so next then i want to try and pull up the part of the loom that runs down into the front wing and um, as i said before it literally just goes up into there, um, two cables on it, one for ABS sensor, or was it even ABS sensor? I think it was, um, and one for the light. And then need to have a look here and see what's going on. I don't have a clue what this, what the, all those cables are running in there. Come over to this side, take this panel off here. Um, I'm assuming this is where the main bit of the loom actually goes into the car. Um, so this may be the stage where I need to start stripping the dash. Not sure, we'll see whenever we get that cover off. So in fact, actually I'll take this off next um, and try and pull the loom up through there as well. So I'm gonna try and pull these cables up through. Now, as far as I can see, try to some light. As far as I can see, this bit here is actually just taped on. So I'm gonna try and cut that tape off. Um, just get those cables through. Yep, so that's that off. Yeah, and then just should pull it straight through. Another bit of tape on there. So that is that part of the loom through. So gonna go ahead, try to get this cover off now. Uh, as far as I can see, just seems to be one, not 
or bolt there, one bolt the same the other side. I'm assuming this just pops off um, and then try to get the same cables through from the other side here. seems to be the same thing only I also have the part on it for the washer as well so I'm gonna cut the tape on this one and pull this these two cables back through as well so I actually forgot to disconnect one of the cables um, one of the sensors here so I'm gonna try to just get this one disconnected that sensor disconnected so just need to feed back up through one of the brake lines up here which is quite awkward to do with one hand so that's basically everything in the engine bay is now disconnected um, in regards to the loom um, only two things left which is two grounding points and then I'm, I'm assuming that box is where it's going into the actual car and um, in towards the, the dash so I'm gonna pop off the cover and see what sort of a mess this is um, is there an easy way we can just disconnect it or do we have to actually pull the dash out if we're gonna pull the dash out it's not gonna be tonight um, or this video because it's currently like half past one in the morning um, on a Wednesday so I'm gonna we'll pop off this cover see where it goes um, if it's handy we'll try and get the whole loom out tonight if not maybe start into it tomorrow and pull the dash out dash needs to come out anyway um, a few things I want to do to the dash bits I want to get painted anyway it's uh, gonna have to put the GTA clocks in um, yeah so let's pop off this cover and see yeah, so popped off the two covers, uh, tried to video it but it was kind of harder than it looked it but it literally just more or less pulls off. Not what we wanted at all. Um, there is a T25 Torx down in the centre which as far as I can see is the only thing holding these panels on. Um, so I'm going to pull that T25 out and see if this, I don't know, like, is there any easier way of doing this? try to get this out. So whenever I originally seen the one T20, well I thought it was T25, it was T27 in here. There's actually one in here and um, one in here. Now I've pulled this one off and it's literally just a full plug. Um, try to pull this one out too. They're quite tight. But yeah, as I was saying, there's literally these two plugs. So that was a lot easier than what I was thinking. Uh, I was thinking I was going to have to start stripping the dash out just to get the engine loom out. So that's that. Um, pull across here. Another step in here needs to pull forward. And I actually forgot earlier, there is two other light. There's two other earthen points here. Um, so I need to take them off. And then once I get these two off, I, I literally think the whole loom should pull out. So I'm gonna grab a socket, pull these um, couple of hours off and see if I can get the loom straight out. So I thought I basically had it out there, um, but got the two hours off. Um, it is, the loom's disconnected completely from the car now, but just to pull it out, I need to undo, there's a 13 here, and um, just basically to pull the loom past it. Um, that's more or less it. So take this 13 off, and I think that should be the loom out of the car.
got the 13 off and I think that should technically be the loom disconnected. Let's see. There we have it. Got the loom completely out of the car. Now, thank goodness that's out because this just gives us a lot more room um, to work. Whenever I say a lot more room to work, I mean to continue stripping. There's really not a lot left to do. Um, just a kind of few small things. Um, everything should bolt off relatively easy. So thanks very much for watching guys. Um, stay tuned for the next episode. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and see you next time.